We never met Megan Johansson, but we've heard a lot about her over the last few years. After she passed away, her friends sprung into action. They organized a blood and shoe drive in Megan's memory, and the fourth annual event now is coming mm -hmm. up later it's this still month. Still going. Kelly Johnson and Carissa Husbands, they help put this thing on. Welcome yeah. back to Hi. the show. Nice Thank to meet you, you. Nice. and great nice to see you, you again, Carissa. Uh, Megan, um, she was diagnosed with cancer shortly after her 28th birthday, mm -hmm. I believe. Can you walk us through that journey that she went through? Well, I think uh, what's interesting about, about Megan is that, you know, she had cancer, but cancer never had her. Mm -hmm. So when she was diagnosed, um, her spirit and her, like, just hope was amazing. And mm -hmm. so we actually didn't know each other. Um, a lot of us who do the drive, we didn't know each other, but she always brought everyone together. Mm -hmm. So she was a, a mother, a daughter, a sister, a wife, um, and a really great friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, always the life of the party. So. Mm -hmm. As yeah. we see in that picture of her with the lips, but I think that mm -hmm. that must sort of capture her spirit in a way. Mm -hmm. Chris, have, you've you've joined us for a few years now, and I, I love hearing you speak about your friendship with her. What mm -hmm. what do you think it was um, that it, that it is about this event that reflects what she meant to you and sort of her her spirit in this world? You know, I always admired Megan from from the time I met her. I met Megan in college, mm -hmm. um, so I have known her for I'd known her for a while before she was before she was diagnosed. Mm -hmm. She continued her same energy through her battle, and I think shared it with all of us. Mm -hmm. um, she was just great to be around. Yeah. She was amazing, and so uh, even though we lost her, there's no way that that she's gone. And so this is just a way for us every year to be able to bring that back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for four years you've been doing this, and it's mm -hmm. called the Hope Blood and Shoe Drive. Mm -hmm. Uh, where did this idea come from? Well, <laughs> um, Megan needed needed blood through yeah. her battle and with transfusions, and she often would tell everyone, you know, when we said, what can we do? She said, donate blood. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that we knew was a passion for her. Um, after she passed, we just had to do something positive in mm -hmm. our sorrow, I guess. Mm -hmm. So um, she was a shoeaholic, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> yeah. I personally helped yes. move those shoes a couple times. <laughs> a lot of little cute shoes, but... Um, so when we thought about um, people that might not be able to donate blood or uh, who um, didn't, then what else could they do to contribute? And mm -hmm. so bringing shoes um, was just another way that mm -hmm. we could honor her. Carissa, do you know at this point how much you've collected over the years? Either We have. We've collected over 3,000 pairs of shoes, wow. which is very mm -hmm. exciting, mm -hmm. and about 240 units of blood. And the shoes have gone where? So the shoes go to Souls for Souls. They're a not-for-profit organization, um, and they deliver those shoes um, both here in the U.S. and around the world, mm -hmm. and their mission is fighting poverty. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of examples of shoes here, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's always the other question. People are like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I have the kinds of shoes that you want. What exactly are you looking for, the shoe portion of things? We want any and all shoes. Yes. We mm -hmm. will take any. Um, Itty bitty kids shoes, absolutely. even like gals shoes, yes. heels, yep. where to work stuff, Tennis shoes, sneakers, flip -flops. Yep. you name yep. it. What, yeah. what, what kind of condition should the shoes be in? Any condition. Absolutely any condition. So mm -hmm. new, used, we will take that single shoe that you have sitting in your closet that mm -hmm. you can't find the extra to. Really? Um, we'll mm -hmm. take them all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. The blood donations go to the Red Cross. Mm -hmm. and, and oftentimes when they're here with us and they're talking about an event, they're like, well, could you all please register ahead of time? How does it work with your drive? Do we need to reserve a spot before we come? Well, um, we have quite the response. We put on an event. Um, we, <laughs> right. we feed you. Right. We have music. We have face painting. Yeah. Um, so we have a, a big turnout. Uh, I personally love the app, the Red Cross app. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if we would love for people to register ahead of time. We're there 8.30 to 2.30 on February 25th mm -hmm. at Papillion, Junior, uh, Papillion Middle School now. And um, we would love to see all of those yeah. slots getting filled up. I love how you up. say it's an event. It's it not is. just a drive like maybe what you've seen before. You roll up in there and you know you're somewhere now. Oh, <laughs> bleachers full of shoes. It's, uh -huh. it's an event. Yeah. yeah. All the blood has been donated. The shoes, the 3,000 shoes over the last four years. What Have you thought about what, I guess, Megan may think about all this or what she may say about all this? 
I think we think about that every year, mm -hmm. right? As we're mm -hmm. going through it, you know, I say that it's an excuse for us to all get together and think about mm -hmm. Megan. Um, she's with us every day, right? She's mm -hmm. watching it, but I think she'd be really proud, right? She was a she was a very very generous person, mm -hmm. um, and so not only through the blood donation, if she was here today, she would be giving shoes right along with mm -hmm. us. So and a lot. Yeah. And she had a lot of shoes to give. And a lot, right. yeah. yeah, a lot of yeah. shoes. Yeah, to yeah. Give. She, it'd be an excuse to go shopping. <laughs> well, it would. And, and maybe you're looking for one, and you need to clear out some space in Absolutely. your closet or you see that yep. picture of her with those lips and eyes smiling and you think I want to be part of her legacy you can on Saturday February 25th at Papillion Middle School online redcrossblood.org or check that app which they launched a few years back and then if you want to learn more mm -hmm. about the organization where all these shoes are going at soulsforsouls.org. Mm -hmm. Souls for Souls has been on the show a few times as yeah. well. Red Maggie Thorne. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Yeah, Cross we know you so know her. Yeah. We love yeah. her. Thanks a lot for Thank you. And good luck thank with you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, with yesterday